First goal of the year goes for the Raiders. Oh, beautiful shot there. Nicely done. Gets the pin. How oh, was that beautiful? Onside kick, and it's recovered by Hastings. And he's rung up for strike three. So blowy! Touchdown, Raiders! And we welcome those of you who are watching on HCTV and PCTV as we're all going all in tonight on the second annual border battle between the Hastings Raiders who are visiting tonight and the Prescott Cardinals who are the home team. You're looking at the pictures on the TV side of what they affectionately call the nest here in Prescott, Wisconsin. And the two teams getting ready to be introduced here. Trey Lauer from KDWA is with you alongside Pete Heyman, and we are fired up to bring you the second annual edition of the border battle between these two. They met last year here on HCTV and KDWA in Hastings, and uh, the Cardinals came away with the victory. Hastings coming into tonight's matchup with a record of 3-5, and five, and the Cardinals coming into tonight's matchup with a record of 10 and 5. And for those watching on our television outlets, uh, obviously we're all combining forces tonight and wonderful to work with Larry from PCTV, Hunter from HCTV, and everybody that has uh, worked together to put this broadcast together. So we're going to call this down the middle tonight. We're going to have our, uh, our, our Prescott and Hastings faithful uh, juiced up for this one, and we're really excited. Uh, about this game here tonight. For our radio listeners, Hastings is in the white with blue. Prescott is in black. The libero for Hastings is in black, and the libero for Prescott is in white. Pete, did you catch the lineups by chance? Uh, I did not, but I can <laughs> tell you for Hastings, I know who their normal starters are. It'll be Norquist, Baker, Bauer, Tome as the libero, Haley Strain, and Rachel Notch. All right, so... And Prescott brings out the Patak sisters, Reese and Natalie, along with number 11, Abrin Ananga. The libero is number one, Kiana Severson. Lila Postima, number three. And number two, Marissa Kogan. They are the others that are out there for the Prescott Cardinals. Prescott already had a couple of big tournaments under their belt this year. We mentioned it in the radio broadcast. They were the 20 seed at a tournament down in Whitewater out of 21 teams and finished sixth. So they definitely punching above their weight. Hastings just recently had a tournament in Apple Valley and their most recent home affair was a 3-1 loss to Apple Valley. So the Raiders will look to get back into the win column. It'll be Rachel Notch serving first. And we are just moments away from getting underway. A pair of second year head coaches and the border battle is off. And right away, it is Reese Patak, and now Haley Strain on the Hastings end, and Natalie Patak keeps it alive, and then Ananga, and it will be a Prescott point to Abra Ananga, number 11. Trey Prescott got away with one there. Their second hit went over the net. That's what we call a free ball, so Hastings had a chance to spike it at him. Unfortunately, they didn't get the hit in there, so point Prescott. So Prescott gets the first point of the game. Now Notch by the net, that's going to go out of play, and that will be a Prescott point. So Cardinals quickly in front, 2 nothing. We mentioned on the radio end as well, JV for these two teams met earlier, and Hastings swept Prescott's JV. So the Cardinals will look to flip that here tonight. As serving for the Cardinals will be senior Catressa Severson, a little bit of a younger Prescott roster, only five seniors compared to Hastings as most of their roster seniors as Rachel Notch to Haley Strain and then Rattley Patak on the other end makes it 3 nothing Prescott. Yeah, Trey, you mentioned seniors for Hastings. They are very upperclassmen heavy. They come in with nine seniors and only one sophomore and four juniors. Severson on the serve. Notch just in front of the net, out of play. And that will be another Prescott point. And so the Cardinals have a 4 nothing advantage. Trey, I mentioned earlier, sorry, Raiders usually start off 
in the lead at the start. This is the opposite way, so we'll see what happens here. So Prescott serving. Here's Alyssa Bauer for the Raiders. And now it's going to be Reese Patak to notch on the other end. Here's Severson, Kiana Severson, that is, and then Natalie Patak with the kill. Trey, right there, she split the blockers, but it also could be because, like you said earlier, her height advantage. The yeah. blockers of the Raiders might not be able to get up there quick enough to get the block. Yeah, Prescott does have a sizable height advantage over this Hastings team. Most, if not all, of their roster six foot or higher. As Hastings has it now, and that one will go awry on the dig, and it will be a Prescott point, and the Cardinals are off and running. Trey, just to look in the body language of the Raiders, they kind of look nervous already, like they know there's some college, future college players here, so they just got to let that go and just have fun. Yeah, Reese Patak for Prescott, committed to the University of Kansas. Here's another Prescott point as the Raiders tried to get it across, but it did not stay in bounds, and so it is seven to nothing in favor of Prescott and serving for the Cardinals will be number 13, Katressa Severson. Again, we mentioned a pair of second year head coaches. Prescott coached by Tracy Budworth. Hastings coached by Elizabeth Curran and there's the first Raider point as the serve goes out of bounds. If there's one way to get a point, sometimes the other team does it for you. We call it an unforced error there, Trey. So serving for the Raiders will be Emily Podolke. Again, I do both game, both teams pretty regularly, Hastings and Prescott High School Sports, so we'll try to make sure I don't accidentally call one's mascot the other. Here will be another Hastings point as Podolke with a well-placed serve and Prescott unable to attack. Yeah, Trey, that's a service ace there for the Raiders, so both points on the serve. There's another service yeah, ace. Yeah, another one. So Hastings with three quick points here, and it is seven to three. And again, they will play five sets, best of five tonight. And then first four would be to 25 or by two. And then the third, would, or fourth, fifth, I'll get it, would be by 15, uh, first to 15 or by two. But the way this is going right now, Prescott on their way to taking this first set as they get another point, and it's eight to three. So serving for the Cardinals will be the future Kansas Jayhawk, Reese Patak. Talked about how this team wanted to go deep into the postseason, something that has not been frequent for either of these programs, really. As Prescott has it on their end, and then Hastings gets it back on the other side. I believe that was number five, Alyssa Bauer, who will get credited with that one. Yeah, Trey, blocking the Prescott Cardinals is not going to be an easy task, and she did that on her own. Usually in high school and college, you go up with two people, but she did it by herself. Serving for the Raiders will be their libero, Nora Thome, and it goes out of bounds. Point to the Cardinals. It is 9-4. So serving for Prescott will be Aubryn Anango, one of the juniors on this Cardinal roster. And... Natalie Patak keeping it alive as now Reese Patak comes back to get to it. And then it goes out of bounds, misdirected off of a Raider. Point to the Cardinals, it's 10 to 4. With Prescott's skill there, even in a back row spike, it was too hot to handle for the defense of the Raiders. So here comes another serve from Ananga. Good crowd on hand here at the nest in Prescott. As Ananga, and that one, another misdirection on the dig attempt goes out and point to Prescott. It is now 11 to 4. It's another service ace there, Trey. Both teams I got down for a couple. Ananga serving. Thom has it for the Raiders. Now Notch to Haley Strain and Strain will spike it out of play. Point to the Cardinals and they have tripled them up now 12 to 4 here. We've got a timeout. We're going to take one too on the radio side. You're listening to the border battle on Pretty much everybody, KDWA, HCTV, and PCTV. I like how you go to commercial. This is what I'm used to doing when I did
Prescott Cardinals are off and running with a 12-4 advantage over the Hastings Raiders. And serving again for the Cardinals will be Aubryn Anenga. Nora Thome gets to it. Now Rachel Notch in front. And then Hastings gets a point on the... I believe that was a kill there yep. to uh, number three, Emma Baker. And so Hastings gets one back. And it is 12 to 5 here in this opening set. Best of three, but they would play up to five, as we mentioned. So Haley Strain will serve for the Raiders. Now Natalie Patak to Katressa Severson. And then Natalie Patak again. Strain on the other end, Reese Patak. Here's Katressa Severson, Postuma, and Haley Strain. Raiders trying to get a little bit of a rally here, and that one goes back over the Hastings net, but it was out of bounds. So it will be a point to the Raiders, and it is 12 to 6. Haley Strain serving. Multi sport athlete for the Raiders. Here's Severson back to Natalie Patak, up to Strain. And then over the Prescott net, not quite. Knocked back into the Hastings end. And it will be a point to the Cardinals. It's 13 to 6. Trey, that was what you call a little set, a little too far. That was an easy dump down there for the opponents. So Natalie Patak serving for the Cardinals. The younger of the two Patak sisters. Good serve from her. Now Reese Patak to Katressa Severson to Natalie Patak. And Hastings trying to keep it alive. Up into the air and out of play. That'll be a point to Prescott. And it is 14 to 6. Cardinals who have taken an eight point lead here in this opening set. Big thing, big thing I'm seeing here, Trey, is just the first hit for the Raiders. The hit is too hard for the Prescott from Prescott right now. Thome has it for the Raiders. And then underneath the net, point to Prescott, and it is 15 to 6. Trey, you might have been blocked by the up judge there, but. Both Raiders looked at each other because Olivia Benke, a, a substitute, wasn't sure who was hitting that one. So just miscommunication there. So now Natalie Patak serving again for Prescott. And Strain trying to keep it alive in front of the scorer's table. Back into the Prescott end. And now here goes Postuma, and she can't connect on the spike. It's a point to the Raiders, 15-7. to seven. Timing of the set, they're just a little off. In volleyball, the timing is critical, especially when you're jumping the spike at so we'll see who's going to serve for the Raiders here. It looks like it's going to be number two. That is Annabelle Norquist. Who will be serving from the O in Prescott. Moving from right to left are the Raiders. Here's Leah French out there now for Prescott. She can't get it over the net. It's a point to the Raiders the other way. 15 to 8. You get two timeouts in each set. Raiders have already spent one. And now Annabelle Norquist will serve. And Norquist can't connect on the serve. It stays into the netting. Point to Prescott, 16-8. Checking in for the Cardinals now will be Marissa Kogan, one of the juniors, and Leah French will leave. Trey, I got Raiders down for two service errors, and when you're playing a team that's much better than you like this, you cannot afford to make those unforced errors. So Marissa Kogan will serve. Right off the bench for the Cardinals. And now Nora Thome to Haley Strain. Strain up into the air. That one goes to Kogan. And then back to Reese Patak. And that's why she's a Division I recruit right there. Just with authority. Gets it down for the kill. And it's 17-8 Prescott. Trey, that set was perfect there too from her setter. That makes it much easier to put that kill down. So Kogan will serve again for the Cardinals. Here's Strain, and into the netting from Emily Padolki, and it is 18-8 now. Prescott seven points away. Elizabeth Curran wants to take a timeout. We'll take one, too. This is Hastings Prescott Border Battle Volleyball.
Griffin to win the set. Hastings needs 10 just to tie it. Trey, they're going to have to go to their big hitter, Haley Strain. You mentioned Prescott, a tall squad. Haley Strain is the only player six foot or taller for the Raiders. She is also that multi-sport athlete, played basketball. so As well as softball. She was the starting pitcher for the Hastings softball team this season. And so Kogan will serve for the Cardinals over to Thome the other way to Strain. And now Padolki back to Kogan. And here goes Reese Patak, and right to Strain it goes. And now Hastings, that was number 22, Eva Green, still learning the rosters. Here's Reese, Natalie Patak, I should say. And uh, now the Raiders, as this is a nice little round we got going here. Now it's Reese Patak, and saved, kept in by Strain. Now it's Thome, back the other direction of the court, and Natalie Patak is there. And Postema gets it in for the point. No, Point Raiders. Yep, they so will say Point Raiders. And what's the reasoning there? The ball landed out of bounds just okay, outside. Okay, well, that's Trey. a good reason. So 18-9 is the score for the Raiders. And then Prescott can't connect. That's another service ace for the Raiders, and it's 18-10. to 10. Just want to go back to that last point. It was a great rally, but it was the libero tome, thome that laid out to keep that point alive for the Raiders. Serving for Hastings right now, Emma Baker, another one of those multi-sport athletes. And she's got a service error here which will result in a point for the Cards. So 19-10 here in this opening set at the Nest in Prescott, Wisconsin. In this mega media partnership to bring you the border battle. Strain. Trying to keep it alive are the Cardinals as Podolke got it over. And now Strain will keep it alive and it will be a point to Prescott. They initially pointed point Hastings but it will be the 20th for Prescott as it was Reese Patak versus Haley Strain there. What happened there, Trey, is Strain, after she hit the ball, she went under the net, which is a violation. Strain has it back, and now with it for the Raiders, Eva Green. Right in front for Prescott was Katressa Severson, and she can't get it over. So the point goes to the Raiders, and it's 20 to 11. I'm not sure what the 720 on the clock stands for. That has gone up a little bit as this, that's the time of day, isn't it? Okay, never mind. So Rachel Notch will serve. My, my bad. I should have known that, but that one goes out of bounds for a point. And it will be Prescott point 21-11. Trey, that's not your fault. Usually they put 120 up there so they're ready for the timeout when it happens, but it just <laughs> happens to be the time of night. <laughs> Serving for the Cardinals is Katressa Severson over to Nora Thome. Now Rachel Notch just in front. Strain out of bounds. It just left on that right corner. And it will be a point to the Cardinals, 22-11. to 11. They've doubled them up here. That was a good-looking swing there, and you do want to go cross-court in volleyball. She just missed the, uh, the side of the court. Severson kept alive here by Podolke. She gets it back, and it goes into the net. 22 to, or yeah, point to Prescott, so 23 to 11 here in this opening set. For those on the radio who can't see, Raiders are getting the attacks. They just keep hitting the net. Their timing is just a little bit off. Severson. And this one is going to be a point to Prescott as a Raider made a diving effort for it, and it just deflected off their, their knuckles there and went out of play. So it's a point to the Cardinals, and we have set point 24 to 11. Severson to Notch and now saved by Kiana Severson to Kogan and Hastings will send it to set point number two as that is an error I believe we're going to have a substitution here Emily ba or Olivia Banky I should say is in for Annabelle Norquist yeah when Norquist gets to the front row coach Curran takes her out and puts Banky in the front Severson Therese Patak could not get the finish. It's point to Hastings, and the Raiders clawing their way back. 24-13, Alyssa Bauer will get credited for it. And going to serve now for Hastings will be Emily Podolke. Natalie Patak trying to keep it alive to Katressa Severson. Now Natalie Patak will end the set with a kill, and the Prescott Cardinals take set number one of this border battle, 25 to 13.
PCTV production of local sports, news, and live streaming is supported by our boosters, including Cerna House Chevrolet, new and used GM autos and certified service. Roy Insurance, we're there when you need us the most. First National Bank of River Falls, when you bank with us, you're not just a number, you're family. Heart, hands, and mind, child care and pre-K education. Helmer Printing, full-service printing in Beldenville, Wisconsin. PC Bonkers, your local affordable computer expert. Patax IGA, family market since 1912. Prescott Family Dental, providing general, cosmetic, and orthodontic dentistry here in Prescott. River City Stitch, look great in your decorated apparel design since 2007. Wisconsin Credit Union, while supporting one another and the community, we're inspiring better. And all of our local cable subscribers, thank you. Conclusion of the opening set here in Prescott. Cardinals took it 25-13. to 13. And Pete, what were your observations from these two teams in that opening set? It was pretty much simple, pretty much opposite. For Prescott, they just looked like they were relaxed, having fun, right out of the get-go. For the Raiders, you could see they were nervous at the beginning. They were tight. Towards the end of the set, though, you saw them kind of loosen up. So they need to work off of that and move on. Prescott, they do the same thing. So I guess that leads to my next question then here. Set number two. If you're uh, Coach Curran over there, what are you telling your team? I'm just telling them it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Just forget the score. Forget that you're down a set. Forget their height. Forget that they're going to college. Just play and have fun. But do the fundamentals. Bump, set, spike. And for Coach Budworth? Uh, I'm going to tell her, hey, don't let up on the gas. you got to keep going because like any sport, especially a rival, all it takes is one little momentum switch, and now you're, heel you're on your heels. And so, again, 25-13 Prescott in that first set. And the Cardinals and the Raiders will both go with their starting lineups again here for set number two. And again, it's best three out of five in regular matchups. In tournament play, it's best two out of three. And Katressa Severson will serve for the Cardinals, who lead 1-0 in the matchup so far. Both teams, I believe, in new uniforms this year as well. As Thom has it back to Strain, and then Podolki, and then Kogan trying to keep it alive, chasing after it for Prescott with Severson. And she was not able to get there in time, so Hastings gets the first point of the set. It is 1-0, and Rachel Notch will serve here for the Raiders. And Trey, that's exactly what I was saying. A good pass, and just swing through it, hit it hard, and get the point. So here goes Rachel Notch to Severson and then the other Severson and now Reese Patek. Point to the Raiders, it's two to nothing. So you got a pair of sisters on the Cardinal side with the Seversons. I hope they're sisters unless I just mis misidentified that, but uh, people with the same last name. Could be cousins. Could be, yeah. That last point, Trey, the ball went off the post for those that couldn't see it on the TV. That's why the point was given to the Raiders. And there is a perfectly placed kill from Reese Patak to give Prescott a 2-1 to one deficit to work with now. And Reese Patak will be doing the serving as well. On a play like that, when the set isn't there for a kill, you are taught to hit to the back corners because that's usually where the defenders are, and she did exactly that. Well played, Prescott. So Patak... We'll fire this one in, and that will be a service error. And the point goes to the Raiders. So Hastings turning the tides a little bit here in this second set so far with a 3-1 advantage. And serving for the Raiders now will be Emily Podolki from the near side. To Natalie Patak, to Katressa Severson, and then Natalie Patak out of bounds. So a point goes to the Raiders again here, and it is four to one Hastings in front and Emily Podolki with the second set so the Raiders have done some things differently here so far and it's helped them as Severson with a big kill and the point to Prescott it's four to two so Severson and now 
Actually, that was Ananga. My apologies. Severson will leave the game. Ananga will serve. And Thome trying to keep it in for the Raiders to notch, to strain. And that will be out of bounds point to Prescott. So it is four to three. And Aubrey Nanga will serve for the Cardinals. Here's Padolki to notch. And then on the near side is Olivia Banky, and it's out of bounds. Point to Prescott, and we're tied at four. Raiders started the set tray like just loose, and all of a sudden they got tight real quick. So here's Ananga serving again as Prescott with three straight points here. Notch, that's a beautiful return by French and Postema, and it results in a point for the Cardinals. So two of the girls basketball players for the Cardinals end up assisting each other in a point there for the volleyball team, and it's 5-4 Prescott. Notch, also a basketball player. Back to Strain. And now Severson trying to keep it into Patak. Notch is underneath it. And now it's Strain. And the Raiders can't get it over the net. Banky tried, but the Cardinals returned it. And Prescott, with five straight points, has taken a 6-4 advantage. Trey, you mentioned sisters, and they play other sports. A lot of times playing with somebody else, you get to know them. You know their speed. You know their timing. And it just makes things a lot easier. And that's we, why Prescott is what they're, do, what they're doing here tonight. And we mentioned on the radio side, Lila Postema is committed to Bradley University to play basketball as this one. Kind of an unconventional one for Katressa Severson, but she gets the point, and it is 7-4. Prescott, explain that one. Yeah, that actually was not intentional. She actually just tried to bump it. and went off the side of her arm. It just happened to go over the net, and sometimes it lands in. Thome has it for the Raiders off the serve from Ananga. Ananga's been busy back there serving, but that will end here as the Raiders get a point the other way to end a six-point streak for the Cardinals. And now the only sophomore on the Raider roster, Nora Thome, will be serving for Hastings at the C in Prescott. From right to left are the Raiders attacking. Natalie Patak, now Katressa Severson, Postema, and then Bumped up into the air by Banky, back over. Now Severson to Postema, and it's a point for Prescott as Lila Postema does it again. Rachel Notch laid out there. That was a great pancake attempt. For those that don't know, it's when you put your hand flat down and hope the ball lands on the top of it to get to a teammate. So Natalie Patak serving for Prescott here. Notch stays in the Hastings end, but now strain for the spike. And then the return the other way. Emma Baker with the point for the Raiders. It's 8-6. to six. As I mentioned earlier, Raiders need to go to big hit and Haley Strain. They did that, and the hit was so good, it went off the blocker's hands, made it a free ball for the Raiders. They put the point back, back down for the kill. So Hastings, after giving up six straight points, it's been 2-2 two to two since. A little bit more even as Kiana Severson to Katressa Severson. Now Reese Patak over the net to Haley Strain. And a spike attempt by Hastings does not work. It's a point to Prescott. We'll give it to either French or Postema. And it is 9-6. Prescott in front here in the second set. Marissa Kogan will check in for Leah French. A lot of times when you see two blockers next to each other on the stat sheet, they each get a half block. So Marissa Kogan will serve from the baseline in basketball strain the other way saved by Kogan as Patak of the Natalie variety gets to it this one is going to land just out of bounds right on the line in front of Olivia Banky yeah if you watch Banky there she did exactly what you're supposed to do you walk to the line you watch the ball if it's on the other side of you you let it go good so, fundamentals there Annabelle Norquist will serve for the car or for the Raiders. I did it again for the Raiders here. And that will be a service error point to Prescott. It is 10 to 7 in this second set. And so we're trying to figure out who's going to be serving here. It looks like it's going to be the libero for Prescott, Kiana Severson. And Severson sends it across. Thome trying to keep it in play. And it gets deflected off a Raider out of bounds into the Raider bench. Point Cardinals 11 to 7.
Severson serving one more time. Thome. Now to strain in front. And Padolki trying to keep it in play, but it goes out. Point to the Cardinals. It's 12 to 7. So another serve for Kiana Severson. Here's Strain. And out of bounds. Point to the Raiders. As I believe Prescott maybe deflected that one. So 12 to 8. Now the advantage for the Cardinals. Trey, on that one, uh, Raiders went with a quick middle hit. They haven't done that much tonight. And the timing was not there for the blockers for the Cardinals. So good job for Raiders mixing it up. So 12 to 8. And... Here is Anenga. She can't get it down. Strain keeps it alive for the Raiders. And Padulki just a bit too far. Point to Prescott. It's 13 to 8. And so Catressa Severson now will serve for the Cardinals with a five point lead here in the second set and a service ace. That one landed right in what they call the campfire spot, Trey. Usually you see that hit on a when a girl sets it, tries to dink it over the blockers. That one was the serve. They've been serving hard, so that's probably why the defenders in the back row were back. And a service error after the service ace. So the point goes back to Hastings the other way, and it is 14-9 as Notch will replace Green on the floor. And she'll go right to serving. Here's Notch. Back to Kogan. Here's Katressa Severson to Reese Patak. And it's deflected back into the Hastings end. Thom is there. Now Padolki. Severson keeps it alive. Now to Natalie Patak. And Notch keeps it alive. Here's Strain. Out of bounds. Point Prescott. Nice little rally there. And the Cardinals come out on the winning end. That was a good rally, and Apple Valley strain did that a lot. She's not following through with that snap in that wrist. That's why the ball keeps going deep. She's got to work on that. 15-9, Reese Patak serving for the Cardinals. Again, trying to make some noise in the state of Wisconsin and more specifically in the middle border conference. As Notch gets right in front of the net, trying to keep that one alive. She sent it back, but it ends up on the Prescott end to Severson, and then Reese Patak with an absolute firecracker, ends up in a point. And we've got a timeout, we'll step aside also. Prescott in front, 16-9 over Hastings in the second set. She smoked that one. What? She smoked that one. Oh yeah, that's a hit right there. Back here at the nest, Reese Patak serving. Prescott with a 16 to nine advantage in the second set. Trey Lauer, Pete Heyman with you from the second annual Border Battle Volleyball game between Hastings and Prescott, the second end of a home and home that they hope to continue as Hastings off the serve from Prescott, unable to get it over and it's a point the other way to the Cardinals. Trey, that's the third service ace I got in the set. That's not what you want to see coming out of a timeout for the Raiders. Need a side out here. So Reese Patak will continue with her service here. And the Raiders again in trouble here and again into the bench. And again a point to Prescott and it's 18 to 9. So Prescott putting a little bit of distance between them and the Raiders as Reese Patak will serve once more. 
And not trying to send it over, but an excellent return by Ananga results in a point for the Cardinals. And it is 19-9, and here's how it happened again on the TV side as Strain and Notch and all of them were in front, but Abra Nanga slammed the door, and Reese Patak will serve for the Cardinals. Notch bumps it forward, now it's Strain. Spiked by Thorne, or Th excuse me, Thome into the netting for another Prescott point, and it is 20-9. Reese Patak will serve for the Cardinals, only needing five points to win the set. They've been on a little bit of a run here lately. Patak gets it over to Strain, and point to the Raiders the other way. Alyssa Bauer will get credit for the kill, and the Raiders end the Cardinal run, but have a little bit of work to do still. It's 20 to 10. And so Emily Podolke will serve. Severson, back to Severson of the other one. And French, notch for Hastings, but they can't get it over point Prescott. That may have been an Anga that got a piece of that one. And it is 21 to 10 in favor of the Cardinals as Kiana Severson will leave the game. And it will be Abra Nanga serving. And Hastings in a little bit of trouble. A well-placed serve by Ananga. And there will be a timeout here. So we'll take one, two, and actually we'll keep it here so we can share with our TV viewers when all of our next broadcasts are. HCTV's next broadcast will be Thursday night, football against Matamidi, soccer doubleheader on the 19th against Matamidi. Then they have girls swim and dive on the 21st against North St. Paul and the 28th against Matamidi. And KDWA's next broadcast will also be Thursday against Matamidi. Friday, we have Prescott football against St. Croix Central. That's a big one. And then we've got the doubleheader as well with Matamita. We may be working with HCTV on that one as well. And then Hastings football at Bloomington Jefferson on the 21st. Those are our next upcoming broadcasts. PCTVs will also be Prescott football against St. Croix Central. As the serve here and kept alive by Severson. Notch to strain. And Nenga. And now Reese Patak to Podolke to notch the other way. Ananga keeps it alive. Now Katressa Severson. Natalie Patak trying to go for the kill. She can't. Hastings gets it back over. This is a fantastic rally. Now Reese Patak will keep it alive. Here's French. Out of bounds off a Raider. Point goes to Prescott in a phenomenal rally. That's what you like to see, Trey, out of border battle teams right there. Playing every point, laying out, diving, keeping it alive. And so Aubrey Nananga will serve once more. 23 to 10, Prescott. Strain going for the kill. It's into the netting, and it's set point for the Cardinals. 24 to 10 is the advantage. Nanga will go to get to it. And trying to end the set here in the Cardinals' favor. Here's Notch to Strain. Natalie Patak up into the air it goes. Now French for the kill. And Hastings gets the point to keep it alive. 24 to 11. I'm trying to see who will get credit for that one. Looked like Haley Strain to me. Looked like, yeah, looks like it might be Strain that will get credit for the kill. And now Thome will serve for the Raiders. Again, 7.42 is the time. So we haven't played a whole lot so far. And minutes-wise, that's going to be a service error. And the set goes to the Prescott Cardinals. So 25-13, 25-11 are your two sets so far in favor of Prescott. The Cardinals will look to finish it off in set number three. The Raiders will look to keep this game alive in set number three when we come back. Who 
are we? We are artists. We are entertainers. We are storytellers. We are teachers. We keep you informed. We follow the action. Who are we? We are Hastings Community TV. Getting ready for set number three. We're back on the TV side as well as the Prescott Cardinals and the Hastings Raiders gearing up for set number three. Pete, what'd you see there in set two? You know, the Raiders started off strong there, unlike the first set, but I think it woke up the Prescott Cardinals. The biggest thing I saw with Prescott, they're serving. They had at least five stats, service aces, that's unofficial stats. But the ones that weren't service aces, the Raiders had a hard time handling it and therefore it threw off the whole bump set yeah. spike. Yeah, one thing I noticed too, you know, Prescott was down and then big run. Hastings would claw back, big run for Prescott. How do the Raiders prevent that in the third set? You know, they're just going to have to do, just play and not worry about the score once again, but they got to find a way to have better passes and don't hit, just go ahead and hit it. They're kind of a little tendency, not trying to hit it as hard maybe, and it's going out of bounds. They just got to swing through and hit it. Forget, forget that it's 2-0. Or remember it's 2-0 and just we got nothing to lose <laughs> yeah, at this point. Yeah. Well, Hastings needs to win the next three to win the match. As Prescott just needs to wrap it up here. And they will win the second annual border battle and make it two for two in their favor. As, again, not the only border battle scheduled for this year. I believe wrestling will be against each other. Although there will be other teams there as well. As immediately, Abrananango with a kill to start off the third set. We mentioned, of course, the uh, baseball meeting that's scheduled, I believe, for May the 4th. We'll double-check that date, but that'll be over here in Prescott as well at Fire Hall Field. And Coach Ryan Stoffel, Coach Jeff Ryan, Andrew Cottle, everybody working really hard to put that one together. Here's Notch to strain. With a 1-0 lead for Prescott here in the third set. Severson to Natalie Patak. And then Notch. Thome trying to keep it in. Back to Notch. Notch will get it over. Here's Kogan to Severson to Anenga. And Notch will save it once again. Now strain back over to Kiana Severson. Now Katressa Severson to Reese Patak. Who finishes it off? It's 2-0. Wow. That's exactly what you expect from a future Kansas Jayhawk right there. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Katressa Severson, as you look at the replay there on the television side, goodness gracious, as Katressa Severson will serve it back to Notch. And Hastings gets a point. They get it over in front of the traffic in front, and it lands on the court, and the Raiders get one back 2-1. to one. And that's that hard hit I was talking about. Just play with them, go at it, see what happens. And again, Prescott has won the first two sets handily, 25-13, 25-11. We'll see if the Raiders can respond here in this third set, in this must-win set for the Raiders. Here's Anenga again. That'll land inbounds just on the corner, and that will be a point for the Cardinals. It's 3-1. to one. Prescott did a good job of having a middle hitter and an outside hitter, so the Raiders had to stay with their person. There was only one blocker in the middle, and they were able to get it by her. So 3-1, the advantage for Prescott. Reese Patak will serve here. 
And Patak. That was Banky in front for the Raiders. And now Ananga, excuse me, that's Natalie Patak. It was actually number four for Prescott as well, who had it over there. And now kept alive by Severson to Natalie Patak. Here's French going for the kill. And the Raiders will keep it alive. Notch to Strain. Back over to Natalie Reese Patak. Now it's Severson to French. And Padoki to Thome. They'll keep it alive. Wow. And now Anenga still going. And then finally, Anenga gets it down for the point in Prescott's favor. What a rally. And again, the Cardinals come out on the winning end. Raiders did a great job there blocking yes, they and did. digging. But Prescott just at the net too strong. So Kiana Severson will serve. Actually, excuse me. Reese Patak will continue to serve for the cards. Severson. And the Raiders can't get it back over. Point to the Cardinals. It's 5-1. to one. I mentioned Raiders trying to get that first and second hit. It looks like they might have switched from a 6-1 to a 5-2. All that means is there's like two setters on the court. Haley Strain has been setting some as well for Notch. Reese Patak. To Strain. Strain low, but gets it not quite over. And then the Raiders have issues getting it over the net. And Prescott is comfortably in front right now. 6-1, to one, and Hastings has to rally back if they want to keep this game going. Here's Reese Patak again. Busy back there serving the ball. Notch low, bumps it up, but into the net. And the Raiders get a second look, but it still can't get over. And it is 7-1, to one, and Curran, Coach Curran, will take a timeout. We will take one, too. Prescott trying to finish off Hastings here in the border battle. Getting ready for the next serve. Reese Patak serving for the Cardinals with a 7-1 lead here in this third set and almost a service ace. Will they count that as an ace? They will. And so it is 8-1 Prescott as Reese Patak looked like maybe Hastings got a hand on that, but they will give it the ace. Yeah, Trey, even if they get a hand on it, if they don't bump it back over to a teammate, it's considered an ace. And, oh, goodness, perfectly placed. Leah French right in front of the net and gets it over for the point. It is 9-1, to one, Prescott. And Patak will continue to serve. Notch to strain, back to Podolki. Out of bounds, Point Prescott, and the run continues. 10 to one. As Prescott cruising right now. Here's Reese Patek. Dome. Can't bump it up, it goes low and under. Point to the Cardinals, 11 to one. Trey, it's all about that return hit that's just too hard for him to handle, whether it's nerves or speed of the pace of the ball. Reese Patak has been serving for so long, she can practically pay rent. And that one lands for another point to the Cardinals as the Raiders, another miscommunication on that end. So normally on the second hit, the setter is always supposed to go get it. If they can't get it, they're supposed to yell help. I didn't hear anything. So it sounds like a little bit of a communication error there as Patak will serve once more. Thome to Strain right in front of the Hastings bench. Back to Thome, gets it over to Kiana Severson. Now Catressa Severson, French going for the kill. And she will as it's off a Raider and out. And it is 13 to one, Prescott. 
Trey, that hit in that campfire spot that I was talking yeah. about earlier, just right in the circle and kind of like a campfire. Nobody sits in the fire. Yeah. You put the ball there. That sounds like it would hurt. Reese Patak, for the better part of six minutes or so now, has been serving. Rachel Notch has it for the Raiders, but the Cardinals send it back over with authority. Hastings gets it back over, though. Now it's Catressa Severson to Leah French. Thone gets to it. Here's Notch. Now Strain once more. Back to Severson. Now Natalie Patak can't get it over. It's sent back by the Raiders. Kiana Severson to Reese Patak. Hastings will keep it alive. Here's Notch to Green. And Prescott has it back in there. And Severson to French. It's into the net point. Hastings, the Prescott run is over. And the Raiders get one back. And I apologize, it was Olivia Banky, not Eva Green, out there for the Raiders. And checking in for Prescott will be number 14, Caitlin Stewart, getting her first action of this match. Dome serving for the Raiders, and Stewart gets to it. Now Patak, back to Ananga. Strain for Hastings is there. Here's... That was Banky. It goes out of bounds. It was actually tipped by the Prescott Cardinals. Okay, so Point, point Hastings. Yep, so 13-3. And the Raiders will continue to serve with the sophomore, Nora Thome. For those on the radio or TV that can't see, anytime you see the line judge hold their red flag with their hand on top, that means there was a touch. For those that may not have known. So Thome serving. Back to Severson for Prescott. Ananga into the netting point. Raiders and Hastings with three straight points here. To get it under 10, it's 13 to four. If they want to make a run, now's the time. It's do or die. Like I mentioned earlier, Thome, one of their better servers too. Thome gets it up. Stewart to Severson. Here's French going for the kill. It's off a notch and out of bounds. Point to Prescott, 14 to four. Trey, if I'm the Kansas Jayhawks, even though I'm getting Reese Patek, I'd be looking at her younger junior friend, Miss Leah French. She's got quite the powerful hit herself. Yeah, she's uh, quite the softball catcher for the Cardinals as well. That would explain the strong arm. So Ananga gets it over for the Cardinals, and now Notch, and for Hastings, sending it over was Emma Baker. Now French again goes for the kill, but can't get it over. Point to the Raiders, and they're back within nine, 14 to five. As Ananga will check out for Prescott, and Kiana Severson checks in. Notch checks out for Hastings, and now we will see Eva Green check in. Here's Patak back to Severson. Megan Richter into the game for Prescott as well, as Strain pops it up. Stewart keeping it alive. Here's Severson back to French, and again going for the kill, and again rejected by the Raiders. Again, point Hastings. It's 14 to 6. Raiders did a good job at the net there. I did see the up judge hold up four fingers, which means they actually hit it into the net, so it's a four hit penalty. Natalie Patak gets underneath it. Now Megan Richter bumped up by Strain, and then the Hastings Raiders can't get it back over. And the mini run ends in favor of Prescott here, 15 to six. And another new face checking in for Prescott. That is Amanda Miller, number five. And number nine, Mackenzie Sterud into the game. And the students here in Prescott like that one very much. Yeah, got a lot of good support here from the Cardinals. They're all wearing pink today. So Sterud is in, Miller is in. Natalie Patak and Katressa Severson will check out. Strain underneath, gets it over to the Raiders. That's number 21, Emily Padolki, but the point goes to Prescott as it was too long. 16-6, Miller serving. Banky trying to keep it alive. Foam gets it over. Now Stewart to Sterud into the netting, and point goes to the Raiders. And they get one back again at 16 to seven. Checking in for Hastings now will be Annabelle Norquist and Olivia Banky will leave for Coach Curran. That's Nor the rotation they do all the time, Trey. Banky up front, Norquist in the back. Norquist serving, goes into the student section. 
touched by a Cardinal. And 16 to eight is the score as we approach one hour of game time here inside the nest. Norquist serving for the Raiders. Here is Severson, now it's Miller to Richter for the kill and Thome will keep it alive. And now Severson back to Sterud in front. Here goes French off the official and out of bounds. That'll be a point for Hastings and that should make it, oh no, it's a point to Prescott. So 17 to eight, they've got it wrong on the scoreboard, okay. So it should be a point to Hastings, should be 16 to nine. And they're fixing it right now. So there they go, 16 to nine. And then a service error for the Raiders the other way makes it 17 to nine. Trey, even on that swing that went out of bounds, you can see the difference in the Cardinals and the Raiders where the first pass was directly to the center where the basketball does their tip off. So the setter doesn't have to move and she can make a nice pass to the hitter. Kogan, thumb low, gets it back up. Now the Raiders trying to get it over, they will. Stewart trying to keep it alive. Now Kogan, and an error there by the Cardinals. Point to the Raiders. Hastings is creeping back into this thing. 17 to 10 here in the third set. Just as I mentioned for the Cardinals, the Raiders did the exact same thing. Perfect pass, the hit was hard. Cardinals couldn't defend it, and the Cardinal had to run past the post. That's why the Raiders were getting the point. And Richter too long, out of bounds. Point to the Raiders. 17-11, so Hastings getting a little bit of a run going here as Emma Baker will continue to serve. Trey, could be a little classic, put your subs in a little early and maybe uh, the other team gets a little upset about that. Oh yeah. Step it up. As Richter goes for the kill. Speaking of the subs, Megan Richter off the bench gets her second kill and it's 18-11 to Prescott. Megan must have heard me talking up here, Trey. <laughs> We've approached the 8 p.m. hour, and now Richter heads back to the bench for the Cardinals as Kiana Severson, the libero, will serve. Here's Nora Thome. Actually, Strain will get there first. Green looking for the point, but it is point Prescott, and it is 19 to 11. We've got timeout Hastings, so we'll take one, two. Prescott is six points away from closing out the Raiders here on KDWA, HCTV, and PCTV. We're back. Kiana Severson serving for the Cardinals here with 8.01 the time of day. Strain. Back to Green. Into the netting point. Prescott. And the Cardinals are five points away. 20 to 11 the score. You see Coach Tracy Budworth manning the Prescott sidelines, I should say walking the Prescott sidelines as the Cardinals get a service ace there and take a 10 point lead, 21 to 11. Budworth told me a couple of weeks ago she thought the Cardinals were gonna surprise some people this year and Pete told me in a commercial break he agreed with that sentiment. 100% Trey. As Hastings gets that one out of bounds. So this is your first time seeing this Prescott team. You've seen this Hastings team a lot. What's impressed you about both of these teams tonight? Uh, Prescott is their serving and their passing. They really gel well together. The timing is there. Raiders, once again, they kind of got down, but they showed that fire. They just never quit and give up. Still hanging in there. Yeah, Prescott with an excellent rally to get it over. Now Strain the other way, and it's going to be too long out of bounds. Point Prescott as Alyssa Bauer tried to fit one into the corner, but it was just a bit outside. And so now the Cardinals can sniff the win. 23-11, two points away. Kiana Severson will serve. Thom to Norquist, now Strain. Back to Miller and Kogan. Severson, and that's a point to the Raiders as 
Prescott just couldn't get enough on that one. 23 to 12. And Rachel Notch will check in for Eva Green and will serve for the Raiders. Notch. And off of Miller, out of bounds. Point to the Raiders, 23-13. And this is right around the time that the, the, the area Hastings has kind of fallen off a little bit is 25-13 and 25-11 have been the set results so far. Here's Sterud, back to Stewart. Popped up by Notch. Strain keeping it alive. Now Norquist will get it over. Norquist to Kogan, back to Sterud. Here goes Ananga, can't get to it, point Raiders. They've got it back within nine now, 23-14. Trey, this is classic Raiders at the two home matches I've seen when they got down to their final set almost to the match point. For some reason, they like woke up and came alive and get a rally going. Notch, Miller, now Sterud back to Miller. Miller will spike it out of bounds, point to the Raiders. It's 23-15. Hastings on a little bit of a run here since Rachel Notch has come in. And uh, they have their most points in a set tonight, 23-15. Notch again will serve. Here's Miller, and that one goes into the stands. 23-16 point Raiders. It's a nice hard serve for the Raiders, a service ace. Is there something that Rachel Notch is doing that's throwing Prescott off? She's hitting him hard line drives. That's about the only thing. Nothing major. Notch. Back to Miller. That one goes towards the bench. Stewart keeps it alive to Severson. Now back to Norquist. Norquist to Notch. And kept alive by Padolke. Excellent effort. Now Steru. Back in front. Notch will keep it alive. Here's Strain. Back to Thome. Thome will get it over. Now Kiana Severson. Back to Steru. Anenga. Pop back into the Prescott and Anango one more time. Into the netting point, Hastings. And look out. It is 23-17 all of a sudden here in this third set. Trey, the other thing you'll do if you're a coach, you'll know who's on the opponent's side. They are hitting it to the substitute, Amanda Miller. And like any sport, subs usually aren't as good as the starters. So Amanda's having a tougher time than the starters returning. See, they're, they're attacking her again. Miller from the serve from Notch. Miller with another bump up. Now it's uh, gonna be served up into the air here by Alyssa Bauer, and that one will go out of play. Point Raiders again, 23-18, and Coach Budworth needs to talk about it. I think this is the first time out they've spent the entire night. Prescott's had everything go right, and two points away from closing this thing out, the Cardinals in a little bit of trouble here. It was 23-11. And now we sit here 23-18, and the Raiders with a little momentum here in this third set. Yeah, Trey, when you're down, like I said before, it's the third set. It's almost match point. Raiders got nothing to lose. Prescott maybe eased off the gas pedal just a bit, but again, they were attacking the substitute, and you can see her first hit was not right to the setter, which makes it a harder chance to get like a spike on that third hit. So Prescott needs just two points to close it out. Hastings has rallied back with seven straight of their own, and Rachel Notch will continue serving here for the Raiders, down 23-18 in this third set. Notch to Severson into the netting, but stays alive. Miller, now Kogan gets it over. Here's Norquist, back to Notch in front. Strain, can't get it down. Here's Sterud, back to Ananga. Now Norquist, Notch, right at the three-point line in basketball. Back to Kogan, Kogan over to Sterud, over to Ananga. Now it's gonna be Podolki. And Strain into the netting point, Prescott. We've got match point here at the nest. 24-18, Prescott in front as that seven-point Raider run ends. And now Mackenzie Sterud will look to be the final serve of the night for the Prescott Cardinals. Here's Podolke over to Notch. Notch into the netting and that's the game. The Prescott Cardinals take the second iteration of the border battle, 25-13, 25-11, 25-18, a straight set win for a Prescott team that looks real solid. Yeah, Trey, they do look solid. 
the main takeaway for me on that game was really the serving from Prescott was too hard to handle for the Raiders. The return was not well. And I mentioned it at the first set. Raiders looked a little nervous at the beginning, and it kind of felt that way the whole way through until those last seven points they had a rally. Prescott looked confident, positive the whole way through. I don't know if it was because they won the first border battle game or not, but they are a team to be reckoned with, and I'd be anxious to see what they do. Raiders, though, they got heart. They never gave mm -hmm. up. They just got to work on a little more fundamentals, and they could be do something as well. Yeah, this Hastings team has a lot of... Uh Good things going their way for sure. Producer director is Hunter Pinky. Camera operators are Max Slocum, S Seth Essler, and Luke Peterson. Tori Selner also on graphics with Hunter Pinky. Special thanks to PCTV and HCTV for letting me hang out. This has been a wonderful collaborative broadcast amongst the three of us to put this on. Hopefully we can do more of this in the future. Maybe that border battle baseball game. Uh, we could do that for sure. So we'll uh, we'll talk about that. But for those watching on television, thanks so much. I'm Trey Lauer. We'll be back on the radio side for a very brief post-game show. But good night from the Nest on TV.